And that's how the government works? Nope. Okay. It is so nice to see you again, Pearl. It is. Oh, treats for Pearl. There you go, sweetie. <laughs> Dear Brain Suds, can a food be a friend? I have lots of friends. Maybe, but maybe not. Well, we tried to make real friends once. Excuse me, will you be our friend? No. 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 See, making friends is hard, but baking friends is easy. If you want food to be your friend, you have to make sure it's a friendly food. Friendly foods are foods that want to be your friends and you want to be their friends and they're also foods. How do I find a friendly food that's favorably flavorful? Pedagogles. Brain Food facts. Onion is Latin for large pearl. Yummy! Yummy! Food facts. Macaroni and cheese. Release the bees! Now that that's done, we're going to summon our good friend Tommy Toe. He's going to teach us about foods and about Friends. <laughs> and these seeds you will grow. Emerge from the soil, Tommy Toe. Heidi ho, Tommy Toe. Corn. Yes, Tommy Toe. Corn. Oh, I'm itchy for knowledge. Learn this. There are many types of fruits. Skin fruits are fake and cannot be trusted. They're hiding their true identity. But what about the friendly fruits? The fruits that you can friend? Friends are? Friends. Well, friends are me, and friends are you. By the spirit of my ancestors and like the blood of demons, may this land to a foot of the foam around. <gasps> Tommy Toe is a potato, and potatoes are skin foods, Morgan. Oh, they can't be trusted. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh my god. Brain Suds! Advice from Josh. Be yourself. Don't be afraid of yourself. Advice from Josh. So we're going to use the cornucopia of knowledge that Tommy Toe just bestowed upon us in order to grow some food friends. Because we're lonely. Let's get started. Step one. Reheat the incubator to 200 degrees gigabytes. Mash together a quarter jug of hug bugs, a pile of smile sauce, and one of Kathy's lonely eggs to make a firm yet understanding batter. Step two, combine a thimble of scrunchy oil, two heaping tablespoons of quality thyme, a whisper of salted secrets, and a helping hand. Step three, pour the batter into a regulation pal pan. This is where your pals will grow. Step four, place the pal pan into the incubator. While it bakes, be sure to read it an entry from your high school journal. <clears throat> February 26th, 2004. Step 5. I don't really have many friends. I wish I did. But of course, that's not gonna happen. Step 6. Do not remove the regulation pal pan from the incubator. Well, let's remove the regulation pal pan from the incubator. Oh, nuts. These people aren't ready to be friends. Or maybe we're not ready. Help me. 
Well, we should put them back into the incubator until they're ready to share lifelong friendships with us. Agreed. Now, we wait. It's ready! It's time! Oh, I am so excited for these friends. I hope they want to go to Goo Goo Dolls concerts and... <gasps> Look! <Yay>! Friends! Friends! <laughs> and food! Oh, queen. food. Today is the first day of the rest of my life. <laughs> there was a friend in that food! Well now, Morgan! Well now, Morgan! Well now, Morgan! Well, well now, more game. Well now, more game. <laughs> <laughs> food Hey, hey, hey! To keep food fresh, give it a caress. But don't be rude. Tickle your food. Food facts. Six, seven, eight. These are my friends. Five, six, seven, eight. Jeff likes donuts. He eats them every day. Greg sells toasters and he lives alone. Bob and Beth are married and they still hold hands. Dave's a single dad, just trying to make it work. Karen dreams of travel. Her favorite color's brown. Sarah strips on Sarah strips, strips on Sundays brown. to pay off student loans. Pam's late to work. It's the seventh time this month. Month. Percy's in the gutter. He'll never leave the gutter.